intumescent cataract with a very tense back. The other eye had a multifocal lens years ago, 2.8 millimeter anterior scleral translimbal corneal entry, air followed by trypan blue injection into the anterior chamber. Trypan blue is aspirated out using a sim Simco cannula. AC is filled with viscoelastic. Tunnel floor entry with a cystotome, wherein the cystotome enters the AC using a puncture at the floor of the tunnel at the limb limbus. A can opening is done right in the center and the individual slits are joined together to form a sort of rexis. I am disturbing the anterior cortex and trying to rotate the epinucleus nucleus mass. It is not getting rotated. External and internal openings of the tunnel needs to be parallel to each other to avoid a large SIA. One of the free flaps of the can opening is held with utrata forceps and a small sized rexis, a medium sized rexis is created. Looking at the nucleus, it is pretty large when compared to the size of the rexis. I decided to do another rexis beyond this. And an ideal time to do rexis is now before you disturb the cortex and the nucleus. If your assessment, in your assessment, if the rexis is smaller, this is the right time to go before doing hydrodissection or nucleus rotation or nucleus prolapse. That's an adequate size rexis. I'm infusing a few drops of intracambral 1% lignogene, which will supplement the topical proparacaine eye drops instilled before the surgery. Nucleus could be easily rotated out of the capsular bag. Capsular bag is not involved at all in the surgery. There is no traction on the zonules at any part of the time. The nucleus is quite hard and uh, normally the shaft of a 25 gauge cannula can bisect the nucleus but being hard I had to use the cystotome scoring the center of the nucleus till it's bisected into two. Hydrodissection was not done here, so cortical aspiration has to be very meticulous. Chunks of cortex will be stuck in the equatorial area and will not easily come out unless every clock hour you take the Simco cannula to the equator to aspirate the cortex that's hiding. Otherwise, you'll have a post-operative surprise of cortical chunks. Every clock hour has to be visited by Simco cannula to aspirate the chunks of cortex. The fibrous structure of the cortex will be lost whenever there is a hypermature cataract of this type. So it's amorphous chunks of cataract which will not easily come out into the port of an aspirating cannula. Once you are sure all the uh, cortex is aspirated, a IOL is inserted. I slit the dorsum of all cartridges like this and uh, as you can see the cartridge opens up to allow the IOL to go inside the anterior chamber and deposit in the capsular bag. And this uh, as you can see the IOL is pristine. There is no uh, lines on the intraocular lens which normally is seen when it is pushed through a narrow cartridge. It is a low flow, low vacuum low fluidics, low pressure technique and uh, it is very safe for the eye. Visco is completely aspirated from the capsular bag, angle region and from the back of the endothelium. Thank you very much.